the last week before our much anticipated spring break. To celebrate, we have a lineup of spring themed stories for you on this week's Tiger Paws. I'm Callie Eisenhart. And I'm Caleb Walters. Pre registration for summer and fall classes opened last week, and some course sections are already filling up. To begin the registration process, students are asked to contact their advisors. Advisors must approve courses via web advisor before students can register. Students may then complete the registration process by selecting specific sections via the Planned Courses portal on WebAdvisor. Many UWA students who rely on federal financial aid will be unable to take summer courses this summer as a result of changes in the financial aid system. Shelby Campbell is in the UWA Financial Office with more. As the pre-registration process begins, the Financial Aid Office answers your questions about the summer semester. In order to receive financial aid for the summer classes, you have to have 12 hours, which you're considered a full-time student. Six hours is half-time, just like in the fall or spring. In order to receive your loans, you have to have three hours of credited classes. Those classes have to go towards your degree. If they do not go towards your degree, then financial aid will not pay for them. For more information about funding summer classes, contact the UWA Financial Aid Office at Webb Hall. I'm Shelby Campbell, Studio 96. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Shelby. In other spring news, severe storms are expected in the Livingston area this week, bringing light to the importance of storm safety on campus. Everyone on campus needs to know the location of storm shelters in the event of a tornado warning. Storm shelters are located on the bottom floor of Wallace, the basement of the sub, and on the bottom floors of Spieth and Selden. Ms. Aliquippa Allen, a well-liked professor in the College of Business, has a reputation for being a stickler to rules and respect in the classroom. Perhaps the background will help explain this further in this week's What's Up With That. What got me interested in this whole teaching thing altogether, I initially joined the United States Air Force after high school. Now you may wonder, what does high school, Air Force, and UWA have to do with each other? What's up with that? What's up with that? While I was in the Air Force, I actually ran what we called a Management and Leadership Academy. So that got me interested somewhat in teaching. But although I never had a desire to teach every day of my life, that was not on my agenda and it just tells you that life can actually or your priorities can actually change over a period of time. Thank you Ray. The College of Natural Science and Mathematics held the annual undergraduate student research symposium last week on assessment day. Students prepared posters and gave presentations to judges on a broad range of topics including the human eye, psychology, and the effects of the BP oil spill on Alabama's wildlife. That's all of the campus news we have for this week. Let's turn to Donna to see what kind of weather we can expect through spring break. Donna, will we need sunscreen? Well, Callie, the weather is getting warmer, but it won't be that warm. Expect the spring showers to blow in full force as we have scattered thunderstorms and cloudy weather lined up for the remainder of the week. Temperatures are looking rather cool with highs and lows in the 60s. Don't get too down, though, because temperatures start nearing the 70s again right in time for spring break. That's good to hear. Thank you, Donna. That does it for this week's Tiger Paws. We will see you back here after spring break. Have a safe break, everyone.